Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Myrtle's Rant. What I've been thinking about over the last week, coming to you unscripted from the Hot Box studio here at the Jazz Farm. So the last week's been super busy, uh, as usual. We've been preparing for the mass action on Saturday. Um, day after tomorrow now, we hope that you've got your sunscreen and your placard and your Dacha t-shirt uh, ready to join us at the Union Buildings or if you're in the Cape area or one of the other municipal areas, we're going to be chatting about it on the show tonight. So um, we're all very excited to eventually get some form of unity, uh, togetherness, and that's what I spoke about last week. And since the last rant, I've been thinking about being heard. Because I think that this is what this mass gathering is all about. We just want to be heard, you know, because good people disobey bad laws. Nothing about us without us. All the slogans are there. My body, my choice, it's all there. But we just need to be heard. I think that we are heard on, on certain levels when it suits people. Um, but on the nitty gritty and the absolute most crucial things that we need to be heard about, we, we seem to fall on deaf ears. Now, mass gatherings can sometimes be a bit like shouting into an echo chamber, you know, preaching to the choir. In doing a little bit of research for a press release that we did today, I was looking through some old photos and those Cape Town marches were so awesome. They really were awesome. And I think that it certainly did raise the level of awareness of cannabis in South Africa and they certainly did uh, go some way to reducing stigma and, and having us heard. But the last Cape Town March was in May 2017. And then, you know, things happen. Uh, in uh, July, August 2017, we had the trial of the plant. 2018 was also super busy, Jules and I, as a result of the trial of the plant and, in, and our international engagements um, and our trying to raise the profile of South African, Southern African cannabis through our work overseas. 2018, 2019, we traveled a lot. It was a great blessing to be able to see all of those beautiful places with my sweetie. Um, and it, there was a lot of activis activism going on. And in the background, we were writing this, which you all know, which is our manifesto. Cannabis in South Africa, the people's plant. A full spectrum manifesto for policy reform. And it's things like this that stop us shouting into that vacuum. That stop us shouting into that echo chamber and preaching to the choir and all of the other cliches. Um, we are going to this mass gathering with solutions. We have an IKS bill that will be represented, the traditional healers will be there, the Rastafari community will be there all around the country in the municipal areas. And that is what we really want to get across, is that we have solutions. We just really want to be heard. And um, it might sound like we whinge and moan a bit, but you know, that's what act activism is all about. That is why people in South Africa are so active with their marches, because everybody is struggling to be heard. So through all of this, I, um, I had to write this press release today. And so I thought I'd just share it with you because it came out all in one long streak. I didn't, uh, edit it or anything and I just sent it off to to the journalist so this is this is our message and this message might be shouting into an echo chamber but, but don't forget wherever you talk about cannabis, cannabis in South Africa we've got solutions we've got that amazing Eastern Cape Department of, of Agriculture and Rural Development document that was developed over many, many, many months with many really credible um, experts. We've got the Weber Wenzel report. We've got all sorts of, of things that offer solutions that just need to be heard. So this was my uh, press release stroke rant that just came out flowing today. South Africa hasn't seen mass gathering in the name of cannabis activism since 2017. Later that year, our hopes were held a high by the trial of the plant in the Pretoria High Court, only to be deflated by the case being rendered part heard. 
Then we had another dose of optimism delivered by the Constitutional Court Privacy Judgment in September of 2018, only to have that defeated by ongoing police harassment, arrests and incarceration in defiance of our hard-won constitutional right to privacy. The Hayes Club case dismissal fuels our anger as we th sit through parliamentary hearings on a cannabis bill that becomes more unconstitutional with each amendment. The South African cannabis community is cut for. We have waited and waited, but government insight into the complex cannabis issue is sorely lacking. And the real evidence have ne has never been heard. We are tired of reading in the media about huge cannabis business deals that are proceeding for those with privileged connections and money. We are tired of being ignored and locked up in cages for a plant that has been used in Southern Africa for 700 years. Nothing about us without us because good people disobey bad laws. Myrtle Clark, the remaining half of the Dacher couple, surviving plaintiff in the trial of the plant and managing director of Fields of Green for All, non-profit company. So there you have it. That's my rant for today. So on with the show and I'll see you next week with some of my thoughts straight out of my head and into the camera. Thanks for watching.